good morning good morning uh, this message is for those of us waiting for Israel and I believe say a lot of people who don't see this letter the letter is from foreign workers administrative director in Israel and the letter was forwarded about on fifth on fifth of August 2021 okay as you can see from there if you can zoom um, the letter directs foreign workers employees in Israel dear sir ma and uh, this letter is for those of us with day for Israel okay so I'm gonna be reading from my uh, here let me remove this first so that we're not going to see my ugly face mm -hmm. when I go see my ugly face remove oh I'm trying to remove it man come on yes make I come out the glass for my face so that I can read I can read with this glass yes so this letter is for those of us waiting for Israel okay the reason why they write this letter is to educate us because war is looming in Israel they never know when the war will start because Iran is threatening Israel Lebanon is threatening Israel and the information where the citizen get we know get them I'll give you an example if there's a siren right now I don't actually know any direction where to go except I see people but normally anywhere where you day for those of you now where day for Israel you know any place where you day where you hear siren the siren will give you one minute 30 seconds to get to to get free cover to a bunker every building in Israel have a bunker even as the houses some houses no get bunker they build external bunker everywhere this building behind me where supermarket day there's bunker there they have a city bunker up there like two city bunker up there after this street to the next one is a bunker that one a government building another one there's another government now there's another extra bunker all the tall tall building where they see around they get bunker with it there and as war they loom for Israel so they don't know it all of them inside their bunker there they brought put water they make sure say there's always food there because should in case I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example why this is very important I'm going to read from what the administrate uh, foreign um, excuse me what I, I'm going to read from the letter that foreign workers administration director wrote to the foreign people in Israel I'm gonna read you understand in fact let me read from let me read from this so that uh when i go understand i know carry glass so i know they see well anyway august 5 2021 foreign workers employees in israel yes sir madam re war in israel sword of steel important update self-defense measure okay as you are aware of october 7th the state of Israel is in a complex security situation as part of our ongoing commitment to ensure your safety and well-being. PBA is reaching out to private, reaching out to provide important information regarding self-defense measure in accordance with the directive of the Home Front Comp command following another security change and we will like to convey important defense instructions mark in light current circumstances it is imperative that all residents including foreign workers are informed and prepare the safety instruction of the home front command can in various language can be found in this okay there's a link there for various languages anyway below are the key guidance this is where it is important 
for those of you away day is right, we never get the real important how you to save yourself from um, missiles. Below are the guidelines and recommendation of the IDF Home Front Command. One, choose a protected space, residential protected room, communal protect, uh, protected space, shelter, stairwell, or an inner room. Choose the protected space according to to the time available to reach shelter, available protection, and your ability to reach there. The time provided. You see, Misa is not free to enter Israel without anybody knowing. When the Misa is kicked off from where it's coming from, the country don't know exactly where the Misa is they go with their technology. When you go here, you go begin to hear the siren. The siren, the siren will give you one minute, 30 seconds. To run to safety before the landing of that missile but even though they have intercept they have technology that intercepts the missile what if they fail a lot of time the missiles they fail and it will land like what happened two weeks ago in the other side of is uh, near lebanon 12 kids, 12 children where they play for field, all of them. Between 12, 14, 15, 16. You understand? So that is why they are giving this measure. So, you know, you know, what thing that they talk now also they touch me because many times I know they run. Seriously, I know they run many times. And which is very dangerous. Anything can happen. So, now number two. Preparing for emergency with all the required equipment during an emergency. We may be asked to stay scheduled for a certain amount of time in, or in some cases. Do you understand what they say here? You need to give time where you are in shelter. Because this one there will not be war. That, that one where they do with Hamas is not really a war. I want you to understand that is that is not really a complete full-blown war because if Lebanon and Iran begin to go into a full-blown war now yeah now every 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 two, two seconds you go there yeah, we're here we're here the one way go drop go drop so what they are saying here is this you don't come out of your hiding until if the government want to evacuate you there do you understand what I'm saying so let me uh, read it again. Preparing for emergency with all the uh, acquired, acquired equipment during an emergency. We may, we may be asked to stay sec secluded for a certain amount of time or in some cases evacuate from the house. Therefore, it is important to prepare for the necessary equipment. What are the equipment? I will get there. Ahead of time, which will help us to deal with the emergency situation. Water. Number one is water. You must have enough water. In every underground bunker in Israel, they pass water day there. Toilet day there. You understand? Uh -huh. So if even if the building fall, even if the building fall, people are safe under there. And they always say, uh, 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 um, uh, a space for for. For what do you call it? Who is calling me here now? Um, which one are they call up? Um, for air. Let me use this English. Air. No matter how highly the building is, if it fall, there's always space for air. People are safe out there because it gets us to take builder. So let's go to number. Are we? Are we there? Uh, Okay, ahead of time, which will help us to deal with the emergency situation. Water, food, food for the entire thousand member for the at, at least three days. Are you getting it? They must have food for at least a thousand people for three days. Wow. Okay, for, for the entire household, not they didn't say thousand, entire household member, at least three days, important document. Uh, important documentation emergency so meaning 
if I have a family of four or five, while we are going into the bunker, we should have enough food that will take us at least two, three days to survive right there at the bunker. Uh, lighting, we must have at least flashlight, battery, new battery, we must buy new battery, we must buy a new flashlight, eight kit, we must have eight kit in case somebody won't, so we can save somebody from bleeding. Medicine and printed prescription. You understand? Somebody who is used on uh, uh, medication. Radio and battery. You must have radio that will, you hear the news from. You must have radio. They are giving us this information in case Lebanon and Iran begin their war because they are set. They never know when. Israel is only defending themselves. Israel is not started a war. Israel is, Israel is only waiting to defend itself. Israel is not starting the war. Um, radio and battery. Put off charge for the mobile device. At least you must have the charger for your mobile device so that you can communicate and call the emergency to come. Emergency or co communication method draw up to at least with the telephone number. Emergency organization, relative and neighbors. Important telephone numbers. 100 Israel police text message okay 100 Israel police 051111 to text message to the police 101 Megan De Megan David emergency that is uh, Adam David Adam that's emergency 101 to call what's up number they write their what's up number 102 firefighter and rescue services SMS to they also have SMS and emergency call Electric Corporation, SMS, what's up? So those are the important message that the Israel government passed to the foreign workers, even in different languages, that we should be prepared in case they get to war. I don't pray that Israel should get to war. No. Um, even though they have been going like this for so for so many years, you know, they have been going like this for so many years, and uh, all those things is beyond my own comprehension. You know, but there's nothing like peace in this world when people live in peace. As it is right now, um, I met somebody yesterday, a day before yesterday. It's a lady who offered me a coffee. So I was able to talk with her for like 10, 15 minutes. She said, nobody sleep in Israel. We are not happy. Everybody is not happy. The war, we are not happy about the war. And I asked her a question. I said, do you think Islam is the issue? He said, no. Islam is not the issue. Islam is the people. I mean, it's the people. It's the people who are extremists. And I asked him, why, why do you think the people they hate Israel? He said, it's, don't you think it's religion? He was trying to deny that that is not religion. I said, why, why would you say it's not religion? Those who are actually fighting the Israel, they are using the name of religion to fight Israel. What happened in Bangladesh? You know, guys, make I tell you now, if you're a Muslim and you don't like me the way I'm talking, don't stop watching my video. Sometimes I get emotional. Do you understand? I get emotional. I watch one video on... Hmm? See army where they come back from war. See army where they come back from war. With gun and everything. I think it's going. Be like saying they go. I think it's going, it's not coming back. I think it's going to war. So now, what can I tell you, in Bangladesh, the Hindus, ah, I beg, Una will be Muslim. Please, make Una they talk to each other. Make Una they talk to each other. I'm sorry, when I talk like this, make you understand that I'm not talking to all the good Muslims. I'm talking to the bad ones. In Bangladesh, people are protesting for the good governance. But the terrorist organization came in they enter the houses of the Hindus. 
Does that make the Hindus a bad people? Ah! Omo, I know one see what I see. Oh. If you are not on Twitter, you are not seeing anything. Oh. You people should go and open Twitter on your phone. X. Go and register Twitter on your phone. So that now they see what thing they happen in the world. Not be saying make you they hear from mouth. If you they hear from mouth, now different thing. I watch a video where we say they, they massacre all the family. Oh boy. Come see the one where we say I see yesterday. A child which a, a child that is not more than four years. They hang the Pikino. They hang the man. Hang the children and the wife. Because they are Hindu. Do you think Muhammad is happy seeing you doing this? You think Muhammad is happy seeing you doing this? You think God is seeing you doing this? Ah! Sometimes I ask myself, God, why did you create me with this kind of people? Because even God, God itself, that creators give you a, he give you a chance. They said, if you die, oh, if you are not a good person, you are going to go to hell. Oh. If you die, you are you are a good person, you go to heaven. Allow that person to, if if and if and the Hindus, if you believe that the Hindus are not actually worshiping God, leave them alone for God to judge. Me, I they talk my own. Oh, if you be Muslim, if you are angry, you are angry for nothing. Let's assume there was never Islam. Who knows? Maybe we go get peace. I don't understand now. Because Islam is not, I don't think Islam is here to destroy the people. But something came up after Islam that is destroying the people. If Muhammad should be going up there and preaching peace, 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 according to your Quran, then where did, where did it come from that we begin to destroy people? That's what the woman told me, an Israeli woman. He said, my brother, there's another, there's another book after Quran. That is where this, what is the people, what, what, that's what those people are reading. I pretend as if I don't know what is Hadith. It's Hadith. I mean, not be Hadith, they call him. Why don't we just live in peace in this world and die in peace? Nobody is going to stay in this world up to even 20, 200 years. Nobody will live for 200 years in this world. Iran, they fight war, will not be their own. It's not their own now. Lebanon is fighting war that is not their own. Nobody say they defend Israel. Israel will never wake up one day and begin to destroy another country in the name of I want to test my weapon. No. Why is Iran, why are they having, I mean, they are always prepared that Israel one day, one day we go destroy Israel. Let me tell you, me where they talk, whether I'm alive or I'm not alive, in a million years, Iran can never destroy Israel. I am sure of that. The more you threaten Israel, the more stronger Israel become. You have fight. You have fight Israel before. You can't win. If you can be, if you can be stupid enough, Israel come into your country and find somebody there. In a hotel in your country, they enter the hotel, drop bomb inside in hotel. Not be said they destroy the hotel. Look. What make you think you're going to win them? They come for your, They come inside your country. When they threaten them, they enter your country, enter your border, go inside the hotel. The rooms where the guy they stay, they know the two rooms, put the bombs there, one to one to, they come out for the country. They strike the person, he die. Then you say, oh, yeah, I want to fight Israel. Yeah, you are going to destroy. You can't. It's not possible. Let us embrace peace. You love Palestinians so much and you don't take them away from, 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 from Britain when Britain was colonizing them. When British was colonizing them, 
before Israel came, there was no Palestinian state now. Make we think of it was Israel, the Jewish people who chased the British away from Israel. And they create the state of Israel, create the state of Palestine, and they refuse it. The same people where they where they talk say they like Palestinian people. Now then tell them, say, don't take that state. No, don't take it. Now you don't they hook them for neck. And this is not this is what they are not saying in United Nations. They don't say this in United Nations. Israel did not just create the state of Israel. He created state of Israel and they create state of Palestine. But you refuse it. Can we just say the truth? Why did you refuse it? Now you hook for neck. You don't have your own currency. Now then go give on water. Now then go give on a light. Why did Palestinian refuse it? Because of this Iran people. Because of these people. If you love them so much, why are the Palestinian refugees in your country, Iran? The refugee Palestinians, since 1947, some of them were wrong since we don't they fight. The day for Iran, the day for Lebanon, they are still refugees up to now. This is almost for almost 50 years. They are still refugees there. If you love the Palestinians so much, why don't you give them citizenship to become Iranian or Lebanon or Lebanese? You push these beautiful people to become what they are today. Yeah. It is these Arab nations that make Palestinian what they are today. In a million years, you can't destroy Israel. It's not possible. You are making them stronger. Sometimes I pity these Israel people. Even we, we, we have our own problem in Africa. Sometimes I sit down and, 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 and I analyze on my brain like, these people are like often to me, like they know um, you push them here, push them here. So if the let's 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 assume Israel correct collect 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 Palestinian. Let, let me explain something to you guys. To be honest with you, conquer is allowed. Let's agree. Let us agree that Israel. They said the Jewish people are not the original Jewish people. They came all the way from Europe, and now uh, they came to Palestine and take Palestinian. It is allowed under United Nations Treaty that conquer is allowed. America conquer America today from the Aboriginals. The British conquer the Aboriginals and become Britain today. Everybody conquer. Even we in Africa, you conquer, you take the place. When you find a beautiful place that is very good, let me tell you why they fight war and conquer. If you find a very beautiful land, empty land, and with few people, you go for it. Oh, they have a nice water, water passage, and there's a sea around the corner, like, okay, we're gonna use you to that. Yeah, conquer, that is it. But, Israel and Israel and Palestine is not the same as being conquered. Even though they have been conquered many times. All the emperor where they can't conquer them since more than 2000 years ago. The all the emperor. Are you feeling the pain? So conquer is not their case. Their case is this. For those of you who don't know the real history, why they are battling, I'm going to tell you a little bit now. World War II started in 1930-something in Berlin, Adolf Hitler, who for no reason began to hate the Jew because the Jew are conquerors. The Jew are resourceful and prosperous. Jew maintain their culture even though some of them marry Europeans. But Hitler did not see the Jew as, a, as white. And of course, they are not white. 
They are colored people. They have a lot of melanin like me. They are not black, black, but they are mixed. Are you getting the point? Then Hitler began to put them in a concentration camp and begin to massacre them. That's the genocide. Go back to your country. Yeah, you are not from Europe. Uh, waiting. During the conquer of this country and the dry land, they left. That's what prompted their ancestors to leave to Europe. They go, they scatter all over the world. Isn't it? Now they have to come back like David Ben-Gurion was the first prime minister of Israel. They are the one who founded Jewish state today. Like, oh, you know what? Some of them escaped to this country. Even as much as they, stay, they live in Europe and are born in Europe, they never forgot their lineage. They normally come back home and visit some of their ancestors. I mean, their, uh, uh, I can call it ancestors now. Visit some of their family. But they were overwhelmed by the Palestinians. They are overwhelmed. There are just few of them around, but they don't get mouth. They don't get mouth at all. Where they claim right now in Jerusalem, where King Solomon built their uh, synagogue, I will call it synagogue. Because they left the state and they don't get mouth, they don't carry moss, go put on top of there. You are claiming that Allah asked you to build there. Right? Let's agree. They were not there. I'm just telling the story that I know. I was not there. Now, they chased them from Europe down to come back home. Where do you think they should go? When the Europeans are saying, go back home. We have Australian Jew, we have German Jew, we have Russian Jew, we have Ukrainian Jew, we have Morocco Jew, we have even African Jew. World War II opened their eyes. They treat people like tissue paper. They were treated like tissue paper. Bro, go and watch the history of World War II, bro. Some of you are dead for Germany. You are not going to go. Make you go see the history. Make you go to the museum. Go see shoes. Thousands of these people were massacred. And they begin to come back to Israel. When they came back to this country, this country was still under colonization. Now, so the Sabi fight. They no fight. Jordan colonized the Palestinians when the Jewish were not there. Ah, the Jewish are there. Let me just say, the few Jewish were there. Jordan colonized them. Turkey colonized them. Egypt colonized them. But when the Jewish people came back, it was the British who were here. The first British one-on-one, -on -one, just British come out. The concrete state of Israel, concrete state of Palestine. Why are they not saying this in United Nations? Why are they not even saying this in United Nations? That Palestinian state was created in 1947. What makes them to refuse this? The same, these Arab people, we talk, say they love Palestine. Palestinian people, they don't know, say these people, now then they inflate this war. They're supposed to live in peace with them, two of them. Some people, some of them are not even know, say, Jewish people don't tell them, say, you want to take your state. Fine. We will want to take Jerusalem as our state, as our capital. Because this place where we want to go build mocks. Now where King Solomon built our this thing with this. Happy? So this is where we want to use as capital. When I say no, now the same place when I want to use as capital. You are claiming that, I mean, I'm t I, 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 I made a teaching last week where I talk, say, see, if, as religion take tokam, not be me, religion says that Jewish, Judaism is the first religion in the world that we know of that is recorded. Christianity is the second religion in the world that we know that is recorded. And Islam is the third religion recorded. That means King Solomon, King David, Moses, Abraham is not a Muslim. 
if the Muslim accept, because the Muslim accept that Jewish religion is the first religion so far. They accepted that religion, Christianity is the second religion. Then they came as dead. Why are you putting Solomon as a, as a Muslim? That the Jewish people are lying. No, 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 no. King Solomon, David, they are all Muslims. How come is that? Go and read, go and Google it now. I'm not, I'm not being one-sided though. I'm not being one-sided, I'm telling you. We are not having peace now because of this, a lot of lies. Okay, let me tell you, I'm telling you, you see, the talk say Israel no one give them state. Yes, Israel won't give them state. But when they talk, 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 they tell and say, okay, you take this part of Jerusalem and do your capital. They, they refuse now. When I think say Palestinian, Bethlehem, Nazareth, uh, uh, some part of Nazareth, Judea, and uh, Jericho, all those places are Palestinian. It's very big. Very big. Sometimes you accept something, just make peace day. You accept something, just make peace day. They give you one part of Jerusalem. When I think come out that mosque, that place, go put another place, make peace day. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm not here to tell the Muslim what to do. I'm not here to advise the Muslim what to do. But if you check all over the world today, since I was born, it was always the massacre of this. Now them, 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 them. These extremist people. Look what they did in Bangladesh. Look what they did in Bangladesh. I was crying yesterday evening. Around nine o'clock, I cried. They wiped my face. In the name of religion. Because the Hindu people did not accept Islam. So Allah asks you, you must find all of them. Hang child of four years. Oh, God, 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 God. Are you really there? I know you regret creating these humans. You regret creating us. This is wrong. Everybody deserves to live the way he wants. Live and take your space. Don't just tell me not to come to your space. Tell me not to come to your space. If anybody decides to worship a dog, let him worship a dog. If anybody decides to uh, um, to worship animal or whatever, let them. That is their problem. If you want to worship, so you are not God that created them. I don't know if I make sense to anybody here. Me, I'm always liking make we make we tell the let's nail the truth the way it is. I, I'm nailing the truth where you cannot. I just see people where they preach like me. Oh. Now you both people. Now only you both people they talk with and they talk. I they see them on YouTube. But I know they agree follow them. I know they agree. I know they agree watch them because they are own. They, they, they them they go nail and where where. You don't understand. Some of them they know you they, they not even want believe in. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? The way where they, they twist their own, they did too much for me. I've been to Bethlehem. I went to mosque in Bethlehem. I don't hate Muslims. I hate extremist people who don't want other people to live their life. Anybody who supports what the uh, Hamas did to Israel on the 7th of October is an evil person, no matter what. Anybody who supports. You see, if you're fighting for freedom, no, everybody deserves freedom. Palestinians deserve freedom, 100%. No, 200%. They deserve to have what they want to have. Just like I do. But you can't wake up one day like this and begin to buy children. You begin to rape a woman and make the video. I say, oh, it's a Jew. You begin to rape the woman and make the video. You go to where youths are having party. You buy all the youth, put fire on their motto there. And then you say you are fighting for freedom. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's not, that's not the way to fight for freedom. 
Your enemy is the state. Deal with the state. You find little children where they carry carry little children put for inside house. You not carry all those children, put fire on them. You can't toss in the freedom be that one. No. No, I don't accept that. I don't accept that, bro. I'm not gonna accept that. You see, make I tell you now, many people are going to hell, though. A lot of people are going to hell. 99.99% of people in the world are going to hell. 99.99% of people will go, will or may go to hell. Probably is the little children that are going to go to heaven. Probably. Who knows? I'm not even claiming that I'm going to go to heaven. If God sees, if God sees me, worldly to go to heaven fine because all of us we are sinners anyway let's embrace peace war 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 israel israel ah israel we are going to ah the jewish people ah allah said ah uh -uh. israel one day we are going to finish all of them yeah yeah now come on guys Israel doesn't even pick a weapon to fight. They want. They are defending themselves now. What they did in Gaza now? Oh, Israel is committing. Israel is committing uh, genocide. These people are committing genocide. They don't forgive. Forgive who? Forgive who? When Hamas came and do what they do, and you are asking them to forgive? Ah, I, I, are you guys okay? Or oh, what they did? Because you people don't see it. You, they don't. You don't see it on your TV. You don't see all those things on your TV. I know Elon Musk, when Elon Musk won, won, the, won the right one nonsense for in Facebook, for in Twitter. Now Israel invite and come. Yes, Elon Musk won, make one video like this where he can't they show the uh, destruction of uh, Gaza. Now Israel can't call and say, come. Come yourself, come see the video. Come and see the video yourself. Come and see the massacre yourself. Children like, how many children were they born? Come see them. See women where they, 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 they I tell you, now make you go follow me for Twitter. I share them for Twitter there from uh, IDF. They are happy. Woman will get belly. You, yeah, you can't they come out, they pick in. The woman, they shout. Now so now they kill her. Uh, now so they, they fight war. Now so they, they fight freedom. Your enemy is the state. Deal with the army. Deal with the government. Yeah. Because those people are innocent. The women and children are innocent. People who come to fight now in Gaza, they are ready to buy. They are ready to buy. They know it already that here with the fight, we want to defend. You come out and fight. Uh -huh. to drink my water back. When I pursue people come out for wait, come on. Let, let, let's be honest. Okay, let us be honest now. Let's say I'm I'm not supporting Israel now. Hmm? They pursue them from Europe. They don't pursue them from all over Europe. Go back to your country and all that. They are treating them bad and all that. And then they say they are Jew. And the Bible directs their finger that this is where you come from. And they came. And where do you think they should go? Oh, because they call them European Jew. Okay. They call them European Jew. Okay. So they are not the original Jew because they were not born in Jerusalem. Okay. I understand that. So the children you born in America are not an Arab, Arab children, if you are an Arab. The children that you have in England or you have in America, anytime your child wants to go back to Arab country, they should say, oh, you are not an Arab, even your name is Mohammed. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back to England. Your father, uh, your father is Arab, but you are not Arab. <laughs> Does it really make sense? Or maybe, for instance, if I have children in Israel, and after a long time, my children want to go back to Africa, like, uh, 
I'm the son of Osokereke. Yes, the history is there. Uh, your father was uh, is a Nigerian. Uh, I'll use that word like a Nigerian. And then, no, 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 you are not a Nigerian. You are Europe. Go back to Europe. No, 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 you don't belong here. Uh, we have taken the land of your papa. We don't take her papa, your papa house. No, 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 you don't. There's no space for you now. <laughs> There's no space for you. Go back to... Go back to where? They, they pursue them for there. Got... <laughs> but let me be honest with you. I'm going to give kudos to Palestinians for one thing. The Palestinians saw them as their brother at the beginning. The Palestinians welcomed Israel when they came back from Europe. Oh, my brothers. Oh, welcome. These are our brothers. Okay. My uncle, my, what do you call it? Cousin. They are cousins. Okay. 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 Oh, oh yeah. They give them land. They sell land for them. They accepted them. But now this Arab country, where they're near them, now then they poison, now them poison these people. Minds. Ah, una de crazy. Why would I go accept them? They go down the plenty now. They go collect the land they hold from their hand. <laughs> ah, they don't have plenty now. True, true. They begin to fight. Okay, we go follow now. We go help now. Chase them out. They come fight uh, Israel Arab war. Three countries face Israel alone. Israel no get weapon. They come, they fight. <laughs> crew, crew, crew. They ask France. France, I beg, help us. So give us weapon. They don't, if France no agree, give them weapon. Even some, if some Jewish people destroy their. They, see, they destroy their weapon inside the sea. At a point, but God come give them the conquer, the conquered. Today they are here. They are here to stay. Yeah, they are here to stay. They are human beings. Where do you want them to do? Go to the sky? No. That is why we should embrace peace. If they come to conclusion, let us see this. I mean, to me, I know if it's even Israel to make make Israel to consider some situations. Yeah, Israel should also consider some situation. You know what they did in closed door, the meeting they do in their closed doors. I don't know. I don't know what meeting they do in closed door, but they should just reach to a kind of conclusion and then let everybody have their peace. I hope so. Thank you very much. Okay, somebody said they lied to me. Okay, let me bring the person here. Can I bring you? You say they lie to me, my brother. Yeah, that's. I like people who would give me. Please send me a chukudi. Can you please send me a message? I will bring you in. You say I'm, they lie to me. I, I I would like to to see what they lie to me, my brother. Come. Don't run away. You must come. I don't know whether Nami they talk to because they talk about Nigerian pastor. I don't know whether the roof child on Israel is an American. I bet this one no no. You think say, as they lie now, as, as they, they lie to me now, you they tell the truth. Hmm? You see, this is it. I don't talk waiting. I won't talk. Go check the history yourself. Forget about what one person will tell you. You know, a lot of people go say, oh, they are European Jew. Go and check how how did they come become European Jew? If you are an American now, the children that you have in America will not come back. When did they chase them, come out for America? They go tell us, hey, no, 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 come back. They lie to you. <laughs> they lie to me. And I want to bring, send me a message, make I bring you, come, make you come talk your own. Because I won't come out now. Chuku D, Mwaifo, can you please come? Send me a request before I come. I'll give you one minute. Come and explain. Come and explain how America is a, a Jew creation. Or they are American. Oh yeah, come. American is just their ally. I, I'm going to tell you one thing. Why I'm Jew and America are together. Can I tell you? If you are not coming. Wait. I won't make this guy send message. First. Whether I go send message, make I accept him. Danny Dicey walking from watching from Cairo. Thank you. Uh, where the guy now? Oh yeah, you know they come. I won't explain to you why 
you think America is I mean Israel is, um, is, is Israel is American creation I'm going to explain to you not be like that you see Israel and America as five and six Israel is very fast in technology do you understand me and you know say West anybody will be say, see the reason the problem with I will tell you why the the the, the um, Arab country the problem to America because of all this um, uh, uh, weapon weapon of destruction where did they try to build and I got to tell you that this weapon of destruction is because they don't like America and if America does not ally with Israel that is closer to them because Israel is very very good in intelligence as I speak to you Israel is in Iran living in Iran having children in Iran speaking Iranian language oh let me keep it there make I just leave that one the reason why Israel and America they ally together is because the enemy is living closer to Israel and Israel is very fast in technology many technology women that they see today for America now put of them hand in hand the hand in hand together if Israel gets a new technology today go tell them if they don't get money they go sponsor them they both they share intelligence together and if for say America no comes close to Israel hmm? and America too they day close to Israel make Israel no get waiting go past their own <laughs> you know that but even though they are close ally the, the closest ally of Israel is America America did not create Israel because there was never American Jew American Jew no plenty now European Jew plenty Morocco Egyptian Jew so that thing where they talk to you now lie my brother leave all those things now nah, propaganda lie anyway let's go thank you very much I'll see you guys next time bye bye